Yes, I think our last uh, Barney Family Live, which is actually tonight at uh, uh, 6 o'clock, um, we fixed the fuel tank and we drained all the fuel, obviously. So now we need to put all that back into her. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a new funnel, guys. Look at that. Big crap. So, yeah, so the idea is we're going to put the fire blade there and cover it over and then get a uh, big girl here in the shed. I've just got to put back on the back handle grips and uh, a couple of paint touch-ups and stuff and she'll be okay for this year. Yeah, and then look at the room. I think that big generator I'm going to have to take over beside the fishing rod so I can get it in and out to actually work on the thing, so... We just have to work what we've got, you noisy lot! Look at them! Look at the crazies! Yeah, she's a different animal, this bike! Different animal, a lot heavier, obviously, you're sitting up. It's a little bit different to, different to ride. Okay, so my usual fuel station um, that does E5 fuel has run out and I'm down here at the big superstore and they don't do E5. I am really, really need some petrol. This is the problem, you see, the older bikies. Yeah, so for those of you that don't know, um, E10 fuel is for engines that were built after 2012, I think it was. Somebody could maybe um, double check that in the comments. Yeah, so she runs on um, E5, not E10 fuel, and I am um, running out. It's okay, we're just in the town, but still a pain. There's only one service station that I know of that still does E5 fuel. So hopefully this next one will. Right, oh, I think we do. Seen that Synergy Plus, that's what we're looking for. Which we're looking for. Hopefully that's the same thing, Luke. Alright, here we go. E5, Super Supreme. Whew, superb, because look, we're just about into reserve already. Oh, now we're starting to get spots of rain. And all I need is one spot of rain on this lens, and that's it, really. Never mind, we'll manage. Yeah, so I've, I think it's going to start raining. Which is not bad for you guys, because I can just uh, switch off and switch back over again tomorrow. No, I tell you guys, I'm literally going to get a spot of rain on this camera and that's us, so... I think we'll have to wait till tomorrow. That's okay for you guys, though. See this lady, let this lady out. Well, sometimes I don't see man. Yeah, are okay, last we are okay. But yeah, so instead of getting a, a raindrop right on the camera, and we haven't clean it all the time, I think we'll just head home and so pick this up again tomorrow. Oh, that would be a good idea. And here's young David, look, giving Bailey some treats. Hey, Bells, look at her. <laughs> You'd think that dog was never fed. Oh, yeah, hey, Bailey. Oh, good girl, good job. Oh, All right, guys, so here we go again. Just out the sort of the, the east side of our town, uh, heading out the road just for a quick blast to finish off this vlog. Hold on till I get my jacket tied up at the top because it's a bit cold today. Yeah, the weather isn't great, as you can see. But uh, this is the test of the bandit so far. Everything seems to be okay. Alright, let's get out of here. We're gonna have visor down here. There we go, yes, it's taking it easy today, guys. Nothing too fancy. Just a bit slippy. And obviously we're preparing for motorbike vlog season, you know, so I don't want to smash the bike up, wouldn't be good. Yeah, I love this road. Absolutely love it. It's got everything you need for a good bike run. But what I'm going to do, guys, is take you out to the River Stay Bridge. The River Stay, very famous Salmon River. It's actually got, it's actually open for the season now. But we'll have to wait for our local river no doubt. So 
so we can get back fishing as well. So yeah, just a lot of preparation just now, a lot of little things to do. But yeah, it should just be about a 10 minute vlog this part. I'll hopefully take you down to the River Spey Bridge and just give you a quick look because it is beautiful. Really, really beautiful. And I highly doubt there's any ice. I highly, highly doubt it. I don't think it's cold enough for ice at all, but of course, coming underneath these trees here, look, they might not be touched by the sun yet, but I don't think so. We'll have a wee look as we come in, just to be sure. Ah, oh, highly doubt it. Yeah, all the puddles look like they're all wet, not frozen. Yeah, this corner's aces in the dry. I wish I had traction control if we'd hover right that corner, you know? Yeah, just be careful. A bit greasy. You can sort of see the shine on the road. So we'll just take our time today. Just want to get the tyres warmed up. They're not warmed up yet. Yeah, just keep an eye out for tractors as well, there's usually tractors out this road. Yeah, you have to check for mud as well, just watch out for a bit of mud. But a lovely road, it opens up just up right this corner. Oh, just take our time. Yeah, this is my road. My favourite road in the bike. And out we come. Yeah, we're just going to spot a rain now. And of course, I'm, I'm just worried about the action car. I'm just going to have to keep cleaning it with a glove. So definitely getting water thrown up. Now this place definitely doesn't get much sun, so I'm going to calm down just in case there is any ice. But no, it looks fine. Ah, but the Spey Valley, one of my most favourite places to be. Just super. There she goes. God, something doesn't feel right. Something does not feel right. Yeah, I think it's it's maybe just the suspension setup. You know the back end's quite spongy and it's not nice. Yeah, you know, especially these corners, wanna do a bit stiffer. And I like my front end to be a bit softer, you know, it's just uh, you know, we're all different. There we go. So I was just thinking, you know, our, our seven and a half ton lorry, Jessica, the horse lorry, which is going to be a wild camping lorry. Um, I don't think she'd get under this. Oh, well, she'd get under that one. But the one we went through when we first started off this leg of the vlog, there's just no way. We'll have to watch, got about a wheel spin here, no doubt. There it goes, it's just beautiful. Just beautiful. Yeah, when well, this road's lovely and dry in the summer, you know, it's very clean. And once I get a bike that's got uh, traction control, it'll be even awesomer. But right now, I've just got to be careful. 
You see what I mean about these corners? And the rest of the road is even better. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know if you're the same, you bikers out there. I mean, I tend to be quite notchable as a biker. You know. Um, but it takes me a little while just to get used to the bikes again, you know. The fire blade is really um, light and tight, you know, really, really good. But the bomb that's just a bit heavier, you know. So two very different bikes. But see when you come down here doing a little bit of speed. I don't mean breaking the speed limit, I just mean late breaking. This bit here is just phenomenal. You down, down, down. And pull out to the left a bit. Usually there's no cars coming. And you come round this part here and then you can skip your shoulder off of this uh, that fence there. It's awesome. But there she goes, look guys, the Spey Valley. We'll let Big McPherson's lorry out. I think he's just waiting to be absolutely sure I'm turning left, I'm not sure. Oh, there's a car behind us, that's why. Here comes the Spey Bridge. Yeah, it's just beautiful down here. And uh, one of my mates, um, he's got a permit for the River Spey. And the season's already opening and the guys have already caught some amazing fish. I mean, beautiful, beautiful salmon. And you're talking, you know, 10, 10 pound upwards. You know, not small fish. Here we go, then we'll get in here. Space side way, there we go. Yeah, look how they're stopping wild campers now, look at this. Okay. Well, I have to say that a lot of wild campers don't do themselves any favours, I'll tell you. The mess they leave behind. Hold on. My visor's just... Oh, my glasses have steamed up at the same time. There we go, guys. Stop here for a bit. I think that guy over there is having this... Having a sneaky tea break. Oh, look at that though. Let's point you down a little bit. Give you a look. Look at that, the famous river spay, you guys, in Scotland. Very famous river. Very, very famous. And it's gorgeous. Look at they've reinforced this whole bank. I think this has been the past couple of years. It's maybe just to protect the, the railway bridge, I think. But yeah, mates and I jumping off that bridge into the water. You have to make sure you jump in at the left hand side there, not the right. But uh, yeah, life jackets if we're swimming in there, I'll tell you. As you can see, it's it can be very powerful. Yeah. I'm thinking, guys, about doing an extended vlog. If you want to hang around, I'll do an, uh, uh, an extended one. We could drive up and then head up to Rothus. And then it's a bit further up this river, you know. That would be pretty cool, I think, yeah. If you want to hang around for that. Yeah, so I haven't put the back handle grips on just yet. Because, you know, if there's any issues, I'm still just making sure everything's working right. Um, so I can get the side panels off really quickly. And get it sorted. But we're looking really good, guys. The roads are very, very dirty. This just shows you that I think, you know, at this time of the year, I have to clean this thing every time we come back. You know that? Because obviously we've got our sporing on the front, look, our little leather sporing. And that will just go mouldy and I'm going to have to put something on that, like boot polish or something, I don't know. But yeah, I was going to take the kids out and when I'm generally on the bikes, I don't have the kids using the handle grips at all. And uh, I prefer them holding on to me. They're very experienced on the back of the bike, but no, absolutely not. You know, they're still only 9 and 11, you know. 
So yeah guys, if you'd like to um, keep, keep with us, we'll head away up river, go for a right, nice run up through the Spey Valley. But if you're away just now, thank you so much for watching. As always, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit notifications. And remember, if you have kids, we've got three YouTube channels for kids, you know, so that'll be really cool. Right, so extended vlog time. Let's just check we're looking good. Yeah, then we'll head up river, eh? Go for a wee look. Yeah, I'm just going to have to wash, wash once we get back. There we go. He's going now as well. Oh, thank you, sir. God, I thought I was going to bang my head off the top of that thing there, but you're not. There's a bit of climb out of here. Look how dirty it is there. Goodness me. Just watch yourselves coming out of here. There we go. Look at them. Look at that. Stones all over the road there. There she goes. Dirty bit right there as well. Oh, what's this guy up to here? I think he's just reversing it in this garden, isn't he? Or is he trying to three point turn it? No, oh, this must be his garden. Yeah, and lovely wee house. You'll see just up here, look, there's a house right on the end there. Nobody has even been there in years, I don't think. A couple of little houses there as well. But imagine that if some lorry driver got it wrong one night or some car. Oh my goodness. I think someone's probably already been through that. I'd have to ask my dad. He used to be a lorry driver. He'd probably know if somebody'd hit it. But look at that today. Just gorgeous. Wow. Just gorgeous. Yes, I'm not going to drive fast, guys. Give you a bit of a view, eh? We just sit at like 50 or something, eh? Give you a little bit of a view. We'll head up the uh, up river. Should be guys fishing today, surely. There's a beat up here to uh, see where the guys are at. Well, look at that hedge. The guy, the guy obviously maintains that hedge. Look at it. Flipping, hey. There we come. There we come. Yeah, so if we went left when we were at the bridge, that's my favourite road. That's the one I usually take. And we'll do that again a little bit later. But uh, I just want to get... There's a, a really, really good... Uh, fishing beat on the spay up here and if there's any guys out fishing that's where they'll be there's the spay to our left there guys look there we go down we come Yes, yeah, so we'll, we'll come up to that roundabout that we no, you normally see on these vlogs if we're out this road. Generally when we're going away on a holiday in the caravan, right enough. But there's a little fishing beat on the spade just up here. I want to go and see if any of the guys are out fishing. If, if not, it's still been a nice run. It's me, there's nobody around today, what's going on? Well, probably all the sensible people are in their houses keeping nice and warm. Relaxing on a Saturday, you know. But no, no, not really sure how to relax, actually, to be honest. Ain't it beautiful, though? It's just gorgeous in the summer. 
really really old buildings, very old. And as you see in Scotland there's always churches, look. The big old church buildings almost in every town. Have you ever been up to Rothes Castle before? That's another thing I'll have to try and remember, Rothes Castle. Yeah, so the, the fishing beat's just up here. To try and remember what lay-by it is, there's a lay-by up here that you can turn into. Hey, there we go. Now, I recognise that guy. I thought it was one of my old customers, actually. I'm sure it was. Yeah, so just take it nice and easy. There's a spay just up over there. And there's a turn off just up there. Oh, ow. East bouncy, east bouncy, bouncy. We have that car behind us. I can't just sort of keep looking for this way by. I'll just pull in. Shoot it's up here, just right in this corner. Here we go. Just up here. Oh, just up here, just up here. Got it. There it goes. It's just got a car behind us, you see. I don't want to treat them off. I have to watch this bit here. Watch, 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 watch. But there's the speed down there. Let's go down, guys, eh? I always like to leave the bike somewhere people can see it, you know, motorists and that. But yeah, so a few cars up at the... Yeah, over there, look. Now my mate has got a... Um, I think it's an older model Range Rover. Black one. And I think that's him. I don't know, maybe it is. This is a very, very well-known beat down here. Which way will we go? Sheep there. Oh, let's go this way, eh? Yeah, and as you can see over there, look. Guys will be having something to eat, I think. But you normally see the, the boats out on here, and the ghillie will take you out to the, the good bits. But I think I don't think they'd have any... I seriously doubt they'd have any boats out in that, rowboats. That's pretty strong today. But yeah, the River Spey, guys. Spey Valley. Just beautiful, isn't it? I'll tell you, see when all those old, those trees have all got their uh, leaves on and looking really nice? Man alive, it's beautiful. Okay, so we forget how lucky we are sometimes. I don't think that's his... doesn't look like his Range Rover over there. It could be. It's also his mate. In fact, maybe they are there, actually. I think that's his, uh, Doug's car as well, a boy called Doug. And they're all across there. Just beautiful, eh? Absolutely beautiful. You just hear the sheep going as well. Oh, get back up this hill with the old bike ladders on. Ah, oh, she is looking good, isn't she? Yeah. Quite happy with that, but I'll tell you, I'm going to have to clean her. Have to give her a good clean when we get back. We'll have to check out where that Rothus Castle place is as well. Yeah. Right, so up to the next bridge, guys. We'll finish off, off at the next bridge, which isn't actually far up the road. Just a couple of minutes. I hear you. What do you think I'm going to do? You hear them? <laughs> oh, they're funny. Sheep everywhere in Scotland, let me tell you. Pull out nice and gentle out of here, I think, eh? just in case. Yeah, so we'll go up to the next bridge. Another really good fishing spot. But I think it's going to start raining. I really do. Now I've got mud on my tyre, so I'll just take it easy coming out of here. 
Yes, look at the gallery. That road takes you back around to our town too. And that is a beautiful road. We'll wait till the weather's better for that one. It's actually better coming from it from the other side actually. Oh, so these roadworks are still here. Yeah, we had the, the seven and a half ton lorry out here, uh, I think it was a couple of times, when we first got it. The roadworks are still here, they're obviously just having to, I don't know, reinforce the bridge or something, I don't know. Oh. And the big McPherson's lorry, it's on its way, you see that McPherson lorry is everywhere, up here. Look at that, what they're driving these days, moms? Mom lorries, I <laughs> say, that's when I get covered with dirt. <laughs> yeah, so the spay is basically just running along there, the bridge is there. We're going to take you up to a, a, just such a beautiful bit, guys, an old steel bridge. There's now a, a, basically a footpath now, because it could never handle uh, the lorries of today. Yeah, so you know, a little bit of a photo shoot with the the bandit as well, you know, we haven't had it out vlogging all that much. But whatever problem we had, I think we we'll solved it. I think it was the diaphragm inside the fuel tap. So we serviced the fuel tap. And that was actually on our Barney family live. Our new channel. And now she's working okay. We'll just take our time, you know, some, some drivers just think they can nip out in front of bikers. And then we'll somehow be able to stop in time. Here we go, up to the bridge. I'd like to actually take the bike up to the bridge, because it's, it's a lovely place to get a wee photo, you know. But look. Isn't it gorgeous? Ah, oh, see what they've done in the car park, look. Ah, oh, the guys have got their office spaces in there. Nathirium, the lads need Nathirium. Oh, look, they've got a car park down there as well. Oh, well. wonder if I can sneak the bike up onto the bridge. I'm sure I can. Yeah, sure we can. That's some wheel spins. Oh yeah, the river is just so high. Not hugely high, but high, high. 1814 this bridge was built, that's right, I remember now. Now I'll position the bike there for a nice boat away. Yeah, so let's get you back on the normal camera for the end, eh? The Kregelachie Bridge. And believe it or not, lorries used to come up and over this bridge and then they go around the edge of that rock face to over there until they built that new bridge. I can't remember when that bridge was built. It's definitely when I was little. Isn't it amazing? I'm so surprised there's nobody out here fishing today. It is dinner, it is lunch time, and maybe the guys are having their lunch. But yeah, when we come here, like in the summertime, um, you'll just see the river so much lower. Look at the beautiful rock face along the top, look. That's the road we took. Just beautiful, eh? So this is me getting in. As usual, nice and tight look. And of course the, the bondits bondits stem um, a lot wider you see. Oh. There we go. Tight, eh? Very tight. Oh. Yeah, when we move house I won't miss doing this, I'll tell you. Eh, just not enough room. Not enough room at all for all this. Yeah, so as always guys, please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit notifications. We've got loads and loads of videos coming up on our uh, YouTube channels, which we really hope you enjoy. And of course, as always guys, you know, that David and Emily have got their own 
Barney Family Fun for Kids, so we really hope you enjoy that. Too.